What's up, fellow Martians? Marco the Martian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your internet ping spiking with ease. Now, you may be wondering, why is my internet spiking in the first place, right? Well, if you go to your task manager and whatever port you have, whether it be Wi Fi or Ethernet, if you see it spiking, then you may be connected to a very congested server, which in results causes data packet loss. Now, a plethora of things can be causing your internet to spike, such as limited bandwidth, bandwidth hogging programs that run in the background, firewall configurations, graphical server locations, and other network issues as well. Usually, you can't do much about network congestion, but I'm gonna tell you a secret. I got you. There are a few things that you can actually do to limit your internet from spiking. So, this is how to fix it. And before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss the next tech tip, PC tip, and more. Now let's get into the first tip. Now the first thing that I recommend that you do if your internet ping is spiking is to actually update your PC network's drivers. Now updating these outdated or faulty drivers will at least mitigate the internet spiking. And usually a driver update software will provide you with the best drivers for your particular port. It will enable you to show you what drivers need to be updated and show you the best options for each one. There are plenty of driver updaters for PC. Windows even has a built-in one that manages your drivers as well. But there are plenty of them like Driver Fix, iobit Driver Booster, Driver Fusion, and more. That's just to name a few of them. Using one of these driver boosters will ensure that you're not missing any important updates for your driver. Now, let's get to tip number two, which is actually change to Google's DNS server. Changing your DNS to Google will allow you to connect to their server and possibly provide you with a better internet experience. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go to your start menu and click on settings. After that, you're gonna go to your network and internet option right here. Next, you wanna go to properties, and then scroll down to DNS server assignment. Press edit, click the drop down menu, and select manual. Make sure to turn on IPv4, and then enter the following, 8.8.8.8 for the preferred DNS, and for the alternate DNS, you wanna put 8.8.4.4. Press save, and then boom, you are now connected to the Google servers. Next tip, we're actually gonna be selecting the WPA2 PSK protocol. This basically allows home users and small office users to secure their network without using the enterprise authentication server. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do for this one is to actually open up the search bar and type in CMD, and then this will open up the command prompt right here. Once you're in the command prompt, you're gonna to wanna to type in ipconfig. I will also put this in the description as well so that you can just copy and paste it right on in. Press enter. Next, you wanna note down your IP address listed for the default gateway. It should look something like this. So make sure to copy that. And then next, open up an internet browser. Paste that IP address into the search bar and press enter. This will take you to your router's configuration firmware page. You wanna log in with your credentials. And if you don't have access to the information, it should be on your router. Once you're logged in, you want to go to your wireless option if you have one. You then want to change your security to WPA2 Personal for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz if you have 5 gigahertz available. Press save and you're done with this one. Now for the next tip, I recommend that you close bandwidth hogging softwares that run in the background. A lot of times while you're gaming or watching a movie or watching Netflix on your PC, these background applications will be running, taking up and hogging a lot of bandwidth. It could be causing your internet to spike randomly. Here's how to disable it. All right, so for this one, you wanna to go to your Windows search bar and type task manager. Now in the processing tab, you wanna to navigate to your network and see which applications have high network percentages. Make sure to right click on those and press end task. This will close those background applications and allow whatever process you're running to have the most bandwidth. Now for the next tip, which may seem like a no brainer, is to actually turn off other devices that are actually connected to your network that you are not using. Now, sometimes people will forget to turn these off like maybe your cell phone, a TV in your living room, or even a game system that you left on overnight. Make sure these devices are not on, hogging your bandwidth while you're using your desktop or your laptop. Next, we're gonna be running some commands in the command prompt, which is basic IT troubleshooting when it comes to resetting your network options. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is actually we're gonna go to our trusty Windows search bar type CMD to open the command prompt, but this time we're gonna right click it and run as administrator. You will need elevated access for these commands. I will be putting the following commands in. I will also put these in the description as well so that you can simply just copy and paste it right on in. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is NetSH Winsock Reset. We're gonna press enter, and this will reset your Winsock catalog. Next is going to be NetSH int IP reset. And once that's done, 
It'll say restart computer to complete this action, but we're not going to restart it just yet. We got a few more commands to do. The next one we're going to do is IP config forward slash release. Press enter and you'll get a bunch of metadata. After that, we're going to do IP config forward slash renew. You'll get a bunch of more metadata as well. Next, we're going to do IP config flush DNS. Press enter and it'll say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. After this, you want to close this out, go to your start menu and restart your computer. Now, if you're using Ethernet, I recommend not using crossover cables. If you're using crossover cables, I recommend replacing it with Cat5 or 6 cables, which will provide a better internet experience. And lastly, we're going to be turning off Windows Defender Firewall. Now, a lot of times firewalls can actually interfere with the amount of bandwidth that's being used. So we're going to turn it off. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the Windows search bar and type in firewall. You do want to go to Windows Defender Firewall. And once here, you want to go to the option turn Windows Defender Firewall on and off. When you get here, you want to turn off both of these options right here. Press OK. And you're good to go. Now, it's recommended to only temporarily turn off these functions because they will protect your PC while you're not gaming. So after you're done gaming and doing whatever you want to do on your PC, make sure to go back into the settings and turn this back on. But these are verified ways to decrease your internet spiking in your task manager. If your internet spiking is still very severe, I recommend calling your internet service provider. They can check your network issues and see what's really causing the problems. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the video and this helped you out, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, make sure to leave a dislike on the video. Also, I have another internet setting called one setting that will increase your internet speeds. Make sure to check it out after this video. I'm Marco the Martian, and it's been real, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.